Alright ladies and gentlemen, Alpha Stardies back again with Alien Isolation. This is going to be a back-to-back uh, -back post of, on top of the uh, last video there. <clears throat> um, I'm playing catch-up because I am bad. I I am terrible at keeping a schedule. <coughs> um, simple fact of life, sadly. Uh, continue game. <coughs> yeah, I just... I'm really bad at keeping a schedule, so you, you're going to see this. The, the next video I post is going to be another catch-up video. Um, I already did today's uh, Left 4 Dead video. I'm going to upload that. Uh, I'm uploading the first Alien video. I'm uploading this one after that. Uh, after we're done with this, I'm going to play the uh, Dragon Age Origins that I should have played yester yesterday. No, after this I'm going to play... My Star Trek Online I should have played two days ago, and then I'm going to play Dragon Age Jordan since I should have played yesterday. Uh, real sorry about that. I'm going to get the content out there, though, because <clears throat> I'm just a dedicated person like that. Such a great human being. Um, and here we are <clears throat> on the terrifying Sevastopol Station. <coughs> Find help. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. We're gonna go the other way around. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, lights flickering. No bueno. Ah, crap. Leads oh. the same way. See? Ripley is as terrified as I am. What do you mean, security compromised? You mean the giant gaping hole in the dry dock isn't normal? Ooh. Yep. Clearly supposed to go in here. That's terrifying. Okay. Oh, I'm always terrified of going in here because it's gonna be like... It's in the vents! Oh god, it's in the vents! Ooh, and I bump into that and the light goes out. Oh ho ho! I don't do horror games. The fuck is that sound? Was that just Ripley coughing? Oh god, this is terrifying. This is not a fun experience, folks. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying my terror. <clears throat> uh. Oh, I don't have to climb out of this. I just walk out. Okay, yeah, it is. It is just Ripley coughing. Totally thought that was like an alien screeching, or maybe that's not me coughing. No, there's totally no one here. I mean, there's gonna be an alien somewhere on this station, like hands down. It's called Alien Isolation. I'm isolated with an alien. Come on. Ooh, more to read. Savasta Link. Ha <laughs> ha. Punny. Uh, folder corrupted, son of a bitch. What do you mean, folder corrupted? Decommissioning to engineering team. RE decommission. So, boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now. And I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. How convenient. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement. But for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. <clears throat> uh, everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshal Waits. Chief. Alright, Chief. Thanks for letting us know. Sounds like a tool. Um, not so keen about going over that. But I can't go to space flight control. But I want to fly the ship or station, whatever this is. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, I really hope this isn't. Do I have to bounce on this? No. Okay, good. I can go to the side. I don't have to bounce on it. Oh yeah, no, that's not cool. That's really not cool. 
forgot about that. Oh, oh god. And that just cost me health. I don't know how characters like Ripley go through this. I would just be crying right now. Like, real talk. God damn. Whoa. I'm terrified just playing it. Good lord. Without a gun? Shoot all of the things. Oh, nice. I'm in like a cargo. Like an airport where like they probably. <laughs> a ding ding ding. Am I gonna set off the sensor? <laughs> oh, that's illegal to have. No. Um. Can't go up that way. Eh! Eh! I caught the back leg, Pop! That's <laughs> all I can think of whatever she costs. Someone new. You always know a working Joe. G.I. Joe! No. Um, forgotten? F you. Strangers. Does it say release? No, oh, whatever. Strangers will be shot. That's, that's cute. No. Entry. Um. No, I'm not terrified at all, really. I'm, I'm good. What's down there? I should be down there, should not. Um. Fuck it. I'm going up the ladder. If I get shot, this is going to be a real quick let's play. Sensors. A lot of materials. I feel like there's going to be a lot of crafting in this game. Hello? Anyone here? What does that say? Restore power. Okay. Require passcode. Okay, well, that door's not opening. Oh, that's the station I'm on, Sevastopol. Huh, uh, that should uh, that should that should be blown up. No. <laughs> um. A crude barricade. See, this is cheap. Forgotten. Fu. This is just a recycle with a different color. That's cheap, guys. And I noticed, which means that people that watch this will notice. I called you out. Use the terminals to update your map explored areas. Uh, use this to open the map. All right. That's weird. Usually your 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 right triggers to zoom in, your left is to zoom out. All right, so that's where I came in. I did the terrifying stuff. I'm up here. Oh, see, there was a whole little area down there. I might have to go down there and check that out now. Um, after I kicked the power on in here. All right. Hand crank generators. <coughs> How far in the future are we? <laughs> We still have hand crank fucking generators. Like modern day, we don't even need hand crank fucking generators. The backup generator, my job, just turns itself on. Yes, let's access this terminal. Sevastolink. Moved our stash. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. <clears throat> you left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? Hey, hey. Watch the J word. I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. All right, that's probably the passcode I need. Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Ooh, what happened to the terminal? Did maybe someone get face-nobbled by an alien? We can hope. 
<clears throat> also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future. Anna. Uh, well, you know what? Anna's being a bitch, alright? I, I think Langley was just as scared as everyone else. Goodbye from Seekson. Public notice the decommissioning of Sevastopol Station. We've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Seekson Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sevastopol over the years, and hopes that Seekson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. <clears throat> Be assured that Seekson's Apollo Central AI and working Joe androids. Androids, you see? Androids, that's terrifying. Robot insurrection. Uh, will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people. God, I hate that kind of smarmy stuff. My job hands those out all the time. It's like, oh, I'm some great big executive corporate dude who makes more money than you could ever think of having, and I'm going to pretend I can relate to you. You can't relate to me. Nope. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. A track, I don't know what that means. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're going to need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit is over. Waits out. Harris, Turner, oh. get back here. Okay, so the audio, yeah, this is just like a confirmation thing, I don't need to read that. Power junction D13 departures. Restore power to departures. There we go, baby. Oh! Well, what are they running from? Okay, I'm not going for that security checkpoint yet. Uh, what was the passcode? 0340? I think that's what it was. <clears throat> if that doesn't open this door, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be pretty pissed, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, they shut this door, though? The dicks? What if I wanted to follow you in there? There's probably an alien waiting to nobble them in there. And that's why I'm okay out here. Space nobbling. Totally a thing. Maybe they got shut between this door and the other one. Yeah, that's a vent. Just saying. Anyone that watches uh, any alien, or predator for that matter, will know. Novel, novel from the vents. Okay, zero. Three. Four. Zero. Boom! Bonding agent. <laughs> glue. It's it's glue. Can we just call it glue? Medkit V1. Blueprints. You have found a blueprint. Use B to access the crafting menu you can extract from collected components. Okay, that's cool. I'm not gonna though because I'm an idiot who doesn't use health packs. Yes, 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 yes. I get it. Ooh, doo, 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 radial menu. No, I don't want to build it. Oh, item maxed. I don't have any injectors, so I can't. I'm not going to commit the components. That irks me. I should have, like, a travel bag that I just throw everything into. Maybe the component's rarer or more, more useful or something. Ooh, computer. No, computer can't be inaccurate. Yeah, I am going to go back, because uh, on the map there, it did show whole area down there that I want to go loot stuff from. Can I just jump down? No, I have to climb down. Alright. <clears throat> I can sprint now. You're going to see me running everywhere. I hate the slow walking. I 
find it in a prom? No, I can't. Oh, is that all? I, it, on the map! Okay, the map's disproportionate. It totally looked like there was like a whole little area down here. That like, you know. Bounty of plenty. Anywho. Run, run. Run, baby, run. run. Okay, it's just cooking. I don't have to hold it. That's even better. But it says they have guns, or maybe they're just bullshitting. But I feel like they have guns. I should get guns, too. Don't go towards the light. The future of music, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you have to look forward to. It's like slowed down dubstep. Ugh. Loot? Loot? No, no loot. Man. I want to loot. <clears throat> uh, before we continue with that scary checkpoint, I am now going to save because... I'm going to get my ass shot or something. I have to go through all that again. All right. <clears throat> oh, do I get electrocuted? Zap. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That really hurts. I thought I was just going to be like a little shocked. That, like, almost killed me. Why am I so stupid? <laughs> Does this hurt? I say as I shove my face into an open electrical conduit. Of course it's gonna hurt, stupid. Of course it's gonna hurt. What the hell happened here? Good question, Ripley. Good question. Ion torch required. Okay, that's like a security office. So when I get that ion torch, I totally want to go back there. Go check out what's in there. Maybe there's like ways to turn these fucking lights back on. Okay, that's where I came from. I'll tell you what happened here. An alien spit at that and the acid just melted it. That's what happened here. 10 out of 10. I'm an expert here. Alright. Well, oh, right. There's an upstairs. I'm like, how the fuck do I continue? I totally forgot. That I got so caught up in the security office that I forgot there's an upstairs. Stairs! <laughs> uh. Sevastopol. Space flight terminal. Okay, so this is that other door I wanted to go through that wouldn't fucking let me. Oh, I want to look out into space. It's got a very Star Wars, Death Star viewport kind of feel. <gasps> oh, that's the, that's my people. Contact the Torrens. Well, how the fuck do you expect me to do that? Not like I have a flashlight or something. I can just shine it in their eyes. Uh, that way's blocked off. And what, I'm supposed to take the stairs, go back down and around? Uh, closed border worlds. Good for advancing story plots and all that, but... I just like an open border world any day. I don't like being restricted, you know? It doesn't feel good on the inside. Oh, a flare. That would have been helpful five minutes ago. Ah. Yes. Restoring power. Is there anything else hidden in here? No. I just... I'm waiting one time for me to turn on power and then alien in the face. 
I mean, I suppose for someone that's never watched the alien stuff that doesn't know that, of course, there's an alien that's gonna nobble on you, uh, this might actually be interesting, like, to see what they, why they're calling it alien isolation. But I'm not an idiot. I know it's because an alien's gonna nobble on me. I know it. Oh, come on! This looks like a great game. Run around Rex? <laughs> come on! Ah, uh, I'd be that loser. I'd be playing video games instead of, you know, combating the alien menace. <laughs> oh god! Ooh. Can I go through here? I can't. It's just a light, right? But what knocked into the light, huh? Huh? What hit that light in the light? <laughs> oh, this doesn't feel good, peeps. This does not feel good. I don't like this. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous <clears throat> demands, Marsha Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. That's because you are, you fucking idiots. You threw shit at him. God, I'd kick your ass out too. Pulling the plug. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red, and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. Shared. To all spaceflight employees. What is Apollo? To all spaceflight terminal employees. In the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol, nor ships available. The Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly. From the office of Marshal Waits. Yeah, you know what they're investigating? Alien space nobbling. Why are there no ships? Because the alien could get off the station. Oh, and the light stopped. What hit it? This is terrifying. This is a bad feeling in my gut. I don't like it. Open vent. Alright. Yeah! Because, <laughs> you know, there in the vents means nothing to these people, huh? I don't even have a flashlight or anything. This is messed up, man. <laughs> what bumped that light? Okay, no, they're all moving. Okay, it's just like a, like a shake or something. Oh, God. They're in the walls. No, climb out. And alien tail right through the back. No. Um... Alright, so these are the doors that lead back to the space flight terminal. Um, I'm thinking maybe I need to find some sort of control. Some sort of control panel. Huh. Boop, boop. Mimi. That's cool. Interactability. I like that. Can I... Can I hit use again? Oh, I was gonna say, can I use it again to shut it behind me? Because aliens are too stupid for that. I don't like those sounds. Those are bad sounds. I don't know why climbing over this junk isn't an option. That's what I'd do. I wouldn't be crawling around inside a metal tube. I'd just be climbing over this junk. Why do I need to walk through a broken point? Can Ripley not climb? 
She have arthritis or something? Climb right over this. No, instead, crawl under the metal that might fall on you. Working with a real genius here. Stuff? Oh, I totally thought there was like a key or something. No, just more broken shit. Ah! <sighs> okay. I mean, not okay. I don't know who that is, but I totally thought that was an alien coming to kill me. I totally thought. Keep moving. Where the fuck did he go? Man, this shit is so not cool. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. I, I really don't. I was like, oh, I love the alien games, and who doesn't like a good jump scare? Me. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, let's get the lights on. Maybe open a couple more doors. <clears throat> Alright. There's stuff in there. What is this? Maintenance jack required. Oh, they, like, sealed the door. Oh, what a terrifying sound. This is not cool. Heh. <laughs> Hello, honey. Dig it, dish it, dirt it. Did he? <gasps> Scandal! Why am I crouched still? Can I even do anything in here? Ion torch required. Ooh, that's a dead guy. Is that a gun? Looks like a gun. Alright, ion torch, then I get a gun. That's the plan. Nah, there ain't shit I can do down here. Plasma torch. Ion torch and plasma torch are two different things, apparently. Gotta be just carrying a bunch of torches around. That's how I'm supposed to kill the alien. Just torch his face off. But if I grab that rifle, I don't need a torch. Which point? Is it just one alien? Because I feel like... Terrifying. Look at these body bags. That's so sad. Plasma torch. I suppose you just be nice and give it to me, huh? I have to work for it. That's gotta be the exit up ahead. Hey, get through the main door. Okay, well, again, I'm gonna need a maintenance jack for that. There's only one way this guy could have gone. I'm waiting to get jumped. I really am. He's just gonna jump me. Oh, hold to hide. Oh! That is so cool. Oh, it's just A to get back out? Yeah, A to get back out. That is so cool that you can, like, just hide. Gonna come in useful later when I'm hiding from fucking aliens. Sound like a conspiracy theorist, I know, but... Boy. <clears throat> Reverse, it's Turner. Gotta deal with that wasted asshole again. This time he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. 
Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. Does it say? Waits. Lied to us. Well, of course he lied to you. He's the government. That's what they do. It's literally in their job description. Yeah, oh fuck is right, lady. As in, oh fuck, I'm gonna die. Oh, of course I have to climb through a fucking wall. Why wouldn't I have to go into the vents again? <clears throat> Boy. This game. Conveniently placed maintenance shaft. Just kills me. Hey. There should be maintenance shafts everywhere. I should be able to do this everywhere. I don't want to, but I should have the option to. It's only where they, they need me to. So I don't like closed bordered games like that. Well, this guy's dead. Maybe he has some security clearance. Sorry, crazy guy. Oh. No, it's magically turn on. Okay. Okay. So that's how you do that. <clears throat> so now I can take the brace off the other door. <laughs> All right. Nothing in here. Another flare. Interview subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. I just wanna know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure someone's accountable. Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. Which is play talk for they're gonna torture and then kill him. Alright, before I go through that door, I have to go back and pull this off. I don't think I saw any jacks before now, so... Hopefully this has my ion or plasma torch in it. <clears throat> so I can do a little bit more exploring. Alright. Huh. Yeah, alcohol.
Oh, I thought there was like a crafting bench feature or something. That's disappointing. Alright, well. So much for getting my torch now, huh? Alright, uh, I'll probably just go up to save, call the episode here. I don't want to go through that main door yet, advance the story. Uh, cause it's about time to call it. Fuck the marshals. That's right, fuck the marshals. Welcome, bienvenue. Well, uh, it's just welcome in multiple languages. Um. Yeah, so, fuck this game. Um, it's terrifying. I suppose that's the point, so congrats to the guys that made it. Guys and gals. Don't want to be stuck with this. Assuming their gender, though. Can't win with these people. Um. Crew handbook. Yeah. I I think I'll keep playing it. I you know, you, you need a little terror every once in a while to keep things interesting. <clears throat> that's that's a creepy face. What was that? <laughs> we saw Miss November. <laughs> was that Mr. December? Oh no, also November. It's just a very different uh oh, is this those average Joes? Is this the synthetic robots? Some people look at uh women with uh big tits and some people look at synths. That's cool too. Anyway, this is where we're going to call it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I'm not enjoying it. Um, and I'll catch you all on the next episode.